Live from the VCU Siegel Center, Chesterfield County Public Schools is proud to present the James River High School commencement exercise for the class of 2022. This program is made possible through the cooperative efforts of Chesterfield County Public Schools and Virginia Commonwealth University. Good morning. Today, our welcome speech will be given in English and Spanish, so please hold your applause until after the Spanish welcome. Welcome to Meadowbrook High School's 58th commencement exercise. The class of 2022 asks that we honor them, our graduates, by silencing all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. Also, throughout this important ceremony, please refrain from loud outbursts that would distract from today's very special proceedings. Please remember, this is a very important day for all of our seniors. At this time, would you please rise and join me as we welcome Meadowbrook High School's 58th graduating class, the class of 2022. Buenos dias. Bienvenidos al ejercicio de graduación número 58 de Meadowbrook High School. La clase de 2022 pide que honremos a nuestros graduados por silenciar todos los teléfonos celulares y dispositivos electrónicos en este momento. Además, durante esta ceremonia importante, por favor, absténganse de los estallidos fuertes que distraerían la atención de los procedimientos muy especiales de hoy. Recuerde que este es un día es muy importante para todos nuestros estudiantes de grado 12. En este momento, por favor, levántase y únase a mí para dar la bienvenida a la clase de graduados número 58 de Meadowbrook High School, la clase de 2022.
Kelsey Aguilar Campos will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the singing of our national anthem by the Mourner Choral. A Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la República que representa una nación ante Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we've watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air My name is Chris Ann Nelson. Everyone may now be seated. My name is Chris Ann Nelson, Senior Class President, and before I begin, I would like to say good morning to all faculty, family, friends, and alumni, and thank you for joining us on this very special morning. I would like all of the graduates to look at their neighbor and say, look, we made it. We made it to the point that we have anticipated for as long as we can remember, even with the pandemic that acted as an obstacle in us reaching this point. Looking back on our time here as Meadowbrook Monarchs, it's easy to overlook our blessings, 
but we have been very fortunate to be a part of this wonderful school and community. Our diversity, experiences, and values make us the monarchs that we are. However, over the years we have struggled, stressed, and carried many burdens on our shoulders, and that's okay because it shaped us into the strong people we are today. Obstacles will continue to show up in our lives, and we have to have the courage to keep going. And in the process, you'll learn who you are. No matter what obstacles you face, strive to be the best version of yourself you can be. Be great in your own way and never stop chasing your dreams. For many of us, this moment feels surreal. I myself can't believe I'm up here speaking to all of you today, knowing that this is the last time I'll see many of you, but I'm wishing you all the best. Wherever you're going to be after this point, just go out and try to make a difference in this ever-changing world. Make a name for yourself and try to leave a legacy. I hope to see some of you on TV or online one day so I can say, oh hey, I went to school with that person. But seriously, if nothing I said sticks with you, I hope this statement does. Find your purpose. If you find purpose and meaning in one part of your life, it will grow in every aspect of your life and no matter where you are after today, make sure it's something that you're proud of. Good luck and congratulations, class of 2022. At this time, I would like to welcome and introduce our honored platform guest. First, the Honorable James M. Holland, Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors member representing the Dale District. <laughs> Ms. Debbie Bailey, School Board Representative to the Dale District. Joining us from the Chesterfield County School District offices are Dr. Merv Darty, Superintendent of Chesterfield County Public Schools. <laughs> Dr. Joseph Tylus, Deputy Superintendent of Chesterfield County Schools. Dr. Lisa, Lisa High, Chief of Schools of Chesterfield County. Dr. Belinda Mary Merriman, Director of High School Leadership. Also joining me on the podium are members of Meadowbrook High School Administration and School Counseling Department. First, Dr. Marcy Rice. Dr. V Videla Ellis Pope, Associate Principal. Ms. Christina Frias, Assistant Principal. Mr. Joshua Justice, Assistant Principal. Mr. Stuart Spangler, Dean of Students. Ms. Lisa Almond, Dean of Students. Dr. Kelly Old, School Counseling Coordinator. And Dr. Daniel Valentine, School Counselor. Now I would like to welcome to the podium School Board Representative to the Dale District, Ms. Debbie Bailey, to bring greetings. Congratulations, Class of 2022. When I got elected to the school board and was informed that I had to make a speech at a high school graduation as part of my responsibilities, I'm not going to lie, I was terrified. I love public service but public speaking is a totally different animal. Faced with writing a meaningful, memorable speech, I did what anyone would do. I Googled it. I searched memorable graduation speeches. The top 15 most memorable graduation speeches will give you all kinds of great words of wisdom. One will tell you that the greatest gift that you can give yourself right now in your life is to decide that you're going to commit to the journey, not to the outcome. Ellen DeGeneres will tell you to be true to yourself. Steve Jobs told his graduates to love what they did because the only way to do great work is to love the work that you do. Admiral William McCraven told the University of Texas graduates the most important thing to do each morning is to make your bed while Barack Obama said to fight for a seat at the table. 
Reading the top 15 graduation speeches inspired and motivated me, but also confused me as to how I was going to say anything memorable to you, the class of 2022. There are so many important lessons in life that you're just beginning to learn. I could talk to you about the importance of honesty, loyalty, respect, responsibility, and on and on. It was daunting to try to pick one character trait to center my speech around that would have meaning and be worthy of the three minutes I was given to talk to you. The one thing I knew for certain was that I did not want to spend my time talking about COVID-19. I am certain you will not forget the crazy roller coaster ride your high school experience has been due to a worldwide pandemic. So what I decided to do was to tell you a story, a true story about how you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So be careful with every step in your life. When I was in eighth grade, I was going to be a veterinarian. I was sure of it. I found myself sitting in Rose Gill's world history class. I liked history, but you know, it was history. What did I care about ancient Greece when I knew I was gonna be a veterinarian? I went on to high school and to college, and at some point, the realization that you needed to be really good at math and science in order to get in vet school caught up with me. I was making great grades in all my English and history courses, but I wasn't showing much aptitude for math and science. As many of us do along our educational path, I changed my mind. I got inspired by some great educators, and I decided I wanted to be a teacher, specifically a history teacher. I graduated from college with a license to teach and started, and started applying for teaching jobs. My very first interview was back at my old middle school. I walked into the office, and sitting there to interview me was my eighth grade history teacher, Mrs. Gill. Throughout the entire interview, all I could think about was, what was I like in her class? Did I talk too much? And I'm sure that I did. Did I make good grades? Oh my gosh, this woman held my future in her hands. Yet it was going to be her first impression of me that very well may impact whether I got this job or not. As it turned out, I must not have been horrible in her class because I got that job and I taught at that school for the next 25 years. The lesson here is be careful. You never know who you may be encountering that will hold your future in your hands, in their hands. Be the best version of yourself always. Show your best self when you're at interacting with everyone, from friends to store clerks to waitresses to what you post on social media, especially to what you post on social media. Remember, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Class of 2022, go out there and impress the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bailey. Now I'd like to welcome to the podium Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors member representing the Dale District, the Honorable Mr. James Holland to bring greetings. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2022. Congratulations, Monarchs. <laughs> On behalf of the Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors, Dale District, welcome to parents, family members, teachers, staff, and friends. I'm honored to share with you on this, your special day. Graduates, Today is the starting point of a new beginning for each of you. This is a good time to celebrate as you look back on all you have accomplished. A job well done. There are many here today supporting you. In many ways, this is a big day for them as well. Graduates, please find time in your excitement today to celebrate 
but also to thank those who've helped you on your journey. As you pursue your dreams and achieve your goals, be the best person you can and know that God has plans for you. Whatever it takes to achieve your goals, whether it includes college or the workforce or military, you are destined to be great. So walk in your greatness. Dream big, go for it. All the way, monarchs. Class of 2022, you will have many choices to make. Choose wisely and know that you can do all things if you believe more than ever before. This is a time for you to be the difference in your community. Again, I extend my sincere congratulations and best wishes to each of you. Godspeed on your journey. Thank you.
At this time, we would like to recognize the top 10 graduates of the Meadowbrook High Class of 2022. Students, we commend you for this scholarly achievement. When you hear your name, please stand to be recognized. Audience members, please save your applause until all names have been announced. Karam Abu Hosen, Naldi Tercio, Valedictorian, Maria Martinez Limas, Jeffrey Lopez Barahona Salatorian, Wilson Nee, Shubham Patel, Madison Rosario, Emma Jackson, Kayla Thompson, Darius Richards, for earning the highest cumulative grade point averages in the senior class. These students truly stand out in the crowd. Please join us in applauding these Meadowbrook scholars. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I present to you the salutatorian of the class of 2022, Jeffrey Lopez Barahona. Uh, hello? Okay. Good morning. Good morning, faculty. Good morning, staff, family, parents friends, and most importantly, graduates of the class of 2022. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so today I want to remind us briefly of something we as young people don't often think about, and this is the American dream and how I hope we can all appreciate it. So I'm the product of two immigrant parents who today are watching me on a screen 3,000 miles away from here in the dear country of Guatemala. I have lived half my life there, and I'm humbled when I see the hardships and primitive environments that people live and work in over there. Being born in this country is arguably the most considerable gift my parents have given me. And for most of you, that's not really something to think about because it's your norm. Now, I'm not here to make you all guilty about what you have compared to others. I just want you all to cherish these moments, this, this hope, this freedom that we luckily possess. And from now on, You'll have even more freedom because you won't be forced out of your room early in the morning to go to school, get some Wawa, have to do homework, follow a curfew. No, today that's up to all of you. You're the ones being thrown out in the world forced to truly know yourself, to search for that sustainable job, pay rent, maintain the dream car of yours, pay taxes, take care of tuition, Take care of the daily Starbucks and the late Chick-fil-A meals. I just want you all to realize that you live in a nation where anything and everything is possible. The American dream is possible. You just have to find ways to take advantage of this game. Though to be honest for some people and immigrants most significantly, this dream becomes a struggle. Because they can only go so far in this dream. But they still manage to put food on their tables for their families. And for them, this is the most for them, this is more than enough compared to the circumstances that they live back in their home countries. Today, I want to invite you all to appreciate what you have and the hard moments you've been through. Because high school has not been easy, especially to go over with. If you survive this journey and you understand some of the hardships and faulty systems that attempted to obstacle your path, you'll most likely survive the various hassles that are to come. And frankly, it all, believes, it all begins with you believing that you can. Theodore Roosevelt said, if you believe in yourself, you're already halfway there. So try to be optimistic. Take joy in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't you ever forget to enjoy the journey. Thank you, everyone, and good luck. Thank you, Jeffrey, for that amazing speech. 
I now present to you the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Naldi Tercio. Welcome, family, faculty, distinguished guests, and students to a memorable day. The day the class of 2022 starts a new chapter in their lives. First, thank you to all the families and staff who took the time to join us on this special day. It is needless to say that our high school experience has been cut short. But hey, at least we know how to navigate Google Meets and Canvas. Well, maybe not Canvas. To this day, I can't tell why certain assignments could only be found in modules and others under assignments. This struggle may have resulted in a few missing assignments, but can you blame us? As different as, as, different as we all are, we're going through the same vi virtual struggles. Before we start, I would like to dedicate a few words to my mom. No estoy segura en donde está sentada mi mamá. Pero espero que se sienta tan orgullosa de mí como yo me siento de ser su hija. Usted ha sido mi inspiración y espero llegar a ser una mujer fuerte como usted. Siempre le voy a agradecer por todos los sacrificios que ha hecho para sacarnos adelante. Muchas gracias por todo lo que me ha dado. As I continue, I would like to note that being here today is an accomplishment in itself, considering the adversities we have faced during this past two and a half years. Today, we are officially taking our first step into the beginning of a new chapter. There are a few things I want you all to take from our collective high school experience. Number one, enjoy the small moments. Life is not a race or a competition. It is easy to lose focus on the small moments in life as we find ourselves comparing accomplishments with our peers. As cliche as it sounds, life is a journey. And we have to learn to appreciate each part of it. Take your time, make memories, and enjoy the process. Live in the moment instead of speeding to the next one. Secondly, it is not about what you have done, but who you will become. Become the person the younger you will look up to. No matter where you end up in life, be true to yourself. Be the person who is praised not only for their accomplishments, but also their compassion. Lastly, wherever you go, leave your mark. You're a person with a story to tell. You're the pen that writes your own future. Know your worth, and don't let others, even yourself, rob you of your value. Today, you graduate high school. Tomorrow, you may just sleep in. Remember that whether you choose to attend trade school, college, the workforce, the military, or even if you don't have the next step planned out yet, each and every person is te stepping past this threshold with the ability to achieve their goals and ambitions. Defy the odds and the negative stigma imposed onto our generation by society. I hope that today, all of you recognize the potential that you have within and utilize it to pursue your aspirations. Class of 2022, job well done. At this time, we will have congratulatory remarks and the awarding of the superintendent scholarship by our superintendent, Dr. Merv Darty. Before I begin my remarks, I would ask that uh, we take a moment of silence for the tragedy that has occurred in Texas yesterday and has rocked our nation. So would you please bow with me for a moment? Thank you. Meadowbrook High School class of 2022, congratulations. In a few minutes, you're gonna walk across this stage. We're gonna shake your hand, get your diploma, and then you get to go out into the real world. And so think of this, this week you're part of 
4,771 graduates from Chesterfield. Think about that. 4,771 graduates. Now, you have some exciting things you get to do. You get to go out and someday, either now or within a period of time in three to four years, get a job. And then you get to do what we all get to do, pay taxes. That's coming. I'm just, get ready. As I begin my remarks, first of all, I'd like to do, if you have served in the military or serving in the military, would you please stand at this time? Graduates, if you are planning to serve in the military, would you please stand? Thank you for your service. I got to tell you, you, like, you guys look fantastic. You really do. It's exciting today. So when uh, you think about today, you have many accomplishments to be proud of and many more that you were going to take care of. Your diploma opens up the door for you to move forward. It moves you forward. So the question is, as you move forward out into the real world, what is your why? Why are you doing things? Are you doing it for financial gain? Are you doing it for advancement? Are you doing it to help other people? See, you can only, and only you, can answer the question why. See, I know my why. The staff members here know their why. Our goal is to get you to today. When you started kindergarten, we wanted to get your diploma. My responsibility is not to send you to college or to get you a career or a job. Our job is to get that diploma because the diploma opens up all new avenues for you. The sad part about in our country today, this year, we will have 1.2 million seniors not graduate from high school. Fortunate for you, you have a school district that has over a 94% graduation rate, and you are going to be successful. There's no doubt in my mind. And I want to thank the teachers, the school administrators, district staff, your parents, aunts and uncles, grandparents, for helping you get to today. You see, as you get ready to finish your high school experience in a few minutes, don't forget your parents and people that have helped you. Don't forget teachers that have helped you. No matter what your experience is in high school, you will remember a teacher or teachers for the rest of your life. I can remember Mr. Ed Shoup, a high school teacher of mine, who helped me go to college, and I was the first in my family to graduate from college. I still remember him today and thank him for where I am. My entire career I owe to him for his, his belief in me. He was truly a game changer and you have game changers in your life. So when you think about walking through struggles, obstacles, you've already survived a, a difficult time. We have survived the last four years together with COVID and with other things occurring. Maybe some personal issues. And you have solved problems and realized you continue to move forward. Remember, the window for you is like a car in the front. The front window of your car is very wide and big. The rearview mirror is very small. You cannot relive the past. All you can do is move forward and touch what's going to happen to you step by step. So here's some advice. One, be a person of integrity. Someone people can trust and respect. Dee Brown says, integrity is not something you show others. It's how you behave behind their back. Respect others. Be careful how you speak to people and how you treat people. Remember, it's not the reflection of you of how people treat you. It's a reflection of your character, how you treat other people. The big question is your why. Be careful how you ask it and listen to how it's responded. Here's an example. A young boy is seated on the front steps of his porch and there's a dog next to him. The delivery man approaches the boy and asks him, does your dog bite? The boy responds, no, sir, my dog doesn't bite. 
The delivery man goes to pet the dog and the dog bites him. He said, I thought you told me your dog didn't bite. He goes, sir, this isn't my dog. If you really want to be successful in life, think of others first. Raise others up. Lift them up. Put them on your shoulders. I will guarantee you, the more you think of others, the greater success you will have in life because you're a person people can count on, people can respect and honor because you think of others first. At this time, I have a great honor of recognizing two of your classmates for the 2022 Superintendent Scholarship. The students are selected by the school and no one knows who they are at this time. So when I call your name, please come to the stage. First, I'd like to call Rosa Gomez. Rosa will be attending Virginia Tech University in the fall. Second, I'd like to call the stage Daniela Richardson. Daniela will be going to Virginia Tech in, in the fall as well. Let's give them both a hand. Now, you may think this is a graduation service, but it really is a job recruitment fair for me. So I want you to go get your degree and come back and work in Chesterfield, and we're going to hire you. Deal? All right. It's on tape, so I have to hire you now. Okay. Finally. It has been my honor to serve as your superintendent for the past four years. As we walk together, we've learned so much about life. So as you walk across the stage, appreciate the moment, appreciate the people, appreciate your accomplishments, and always be thankful for the people that have helped you. So this is my 136th commencement speech. In closing, I leave every class with this, with this message. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Again, class of 2022, 20, go big, go strong, and go hard. Congratulations. Thank you for that, Dr. Darty. At this time, Ms. Belinda Henriquez, our 2022 Teacher of the Year, will present the Faculty Scholarship. I am very honored to present this year's 58th Meadowbrook Faculty Scholarship which has been awarded every year since 1965. This scholarship is funded by Meadowbrook's faculty and staff, both current and retired. Presently, we have raised about $3,100. The scholarship recipients are based on academic rigor and faculty recommendation. As a faculty, we have voted and selected three members of the class of 2022 to share this year's scholarship. Congratulations to Maria Lemus, Naldi Tercios, and Kayla Thompson.
Maria, Naldi, and Caleb, please come up and receive your award. Greetings, parents, platform guests, faculty, and most importantly, the class of 2022. My name is Dr. Marcy Rice, principal of Meadowbrook High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Meadowbrook, congratulations to the class of 2022 on reaching this major milestone. Today I stand before you proud of all that each of you have accomplished. I stand in celebration of this moment, not just with all of you, but with your parents who have loved and supported you, and all of our MBK faculty and staff who have been your guides along your academic journey. Know that greatness awaits you and that anything you aim to achieve is possible. I also have the pleasure of announcing this year's recipient of the Max D. Moore Principals Award. This award is given to one Meadowbrook senior that has distinguished themselves above their peers. This year's recipient is no exception to this rule. They are a true student leader with a passion for having a positive impact on their school and the community at large. It gives me pleasure to award MBK's highest award to Ms. Madison Rosario. Would the senior members of the Monarch Chorale please rejoin your class on the floor? Counselors, teachers, administrators, and junior marshals, please prepare for the delivering of diplomas. Guests, guests please hold your applause to a minimum until all, until all candidates have received their diplomas. We ask this so that every student can hear his or her name called. Karam Amer Abdul Hosh. Nelsi Veronica Aguilar. Maume Kali Ahmed. Catherine Yesenia Almenderes Garcia. Wildery Almonte Ortega. Nashali Denise Alonso. Hollis Lisette Alvarado. Susan Melanie Alvarado Estrada. Darlene Alvarez Frias. Kimberly Elizabeth Alvarez Mendez. Giuliani Nazir Anderson. Noah Ryan Anderson. Tamia Kine Anglin. Shauna Alisa Anthony. Brianna Jalise Marlin Arce, 
Kyla Alexandra Armstrong, Madeline Arsencio Pineda, Andrew Gerald Austin, Jesus Ayala Lopez, Destiny Sico Bailey, Josiah Colby Baird, Angel Luis Balcarcel, Luis Felipe Balcarcel, Catherine Janet Balcarcel Perez, Jalen Tomas Banks, Kayla Marie Beeston, Adam Philip Maxwell Bell, Angel Adolfo Betancur Tabik, Xavier Anthony Black, Wendell Blake Blankenship, Taylaya Danae Blanks, Guillermo Bonilla, Jorge Gabriel Bonilla Barillas, Markel Jarian Booker, Mathia Victoria Branch, Kennedy Nicole Brandon, Marte Alan Brandon, Shamaya Fajay Bridgeforth, Brandon Miles Brody, Taiji Brooks, Kayla Grace, Kashan Dion Brown, Tristan Jonathan Bryan, Danielle Jamal Bryan, Deontay Caron Bryan, Emily Stephanie Bueno, Brian Abdul Joel Burgeon, Clinton Clark Burnett, Rashawn Medea Buster, Eric Noel Cabrera, Kaylee Nicole Cabrera, Taeja Monet Camp, Jonathan Vladimir Cardosa, Jajira Senai Carpenter, Danny Manuel Carrera Culaja, Takesha Kaidedra Carrington, Kamaya Aikira Carter, Damian Isaiah Carter, Zainasia Mar Jemaya Carter, Sean Aaron Carter, Christopher Carter Jomans, Daniela Francisca Shanshan, Emilio Emanuel Chacon Romero, Tiffany, Marquea Janelle Chestnut, Michael Jaden Childs, Mankey Jaden Childs, Tamaric Salim Clemens, Mariah Nicole Coleman, Muhani Amir Collier, Naraya Lynn Connerly, Jennifer Teresa Carolina, Devian Crawley, Samara Turi Cruz, Dennis Edward De Leon Perez, Dalje Laurie Diedrich, Jay Sane Osborne De Cruz, Anne De Los Santos, Catherine Dixon, Aaron Donis Ortega, Matthew Elijah Doss, Shayla Liu D, Diamond Monet LNE, Delaney Lesius Eris Castilla, Diane Michelle Escobar, Jason Escobar, Anthony Espada Estrada, Anthony Abraham Espinal de Paz, Christian Eduardo Espinal de Paz, Daniela Michelle Eviana Estrada, Glendy Janet Euseda Castro, Mahogany Unique Fisher, Tamaya Heaven Fisher, Alison Denise Flores, Carla Michelle Flores Diaz, Frank Fofana, Camaria Leilani Ford, Deja Janelle Foster, Jaden Lamar Frazier, Gabriela Nicole Espinosa, Sofia Lorena Fuentes, Kevin Anthony Fuller, Perla Estrada Garcia, Jacqueline Michelle Garcia Franco, Kevin Garcia Rosas, Danina Brianna Garland, Tamia Marche Garnett, Dashaun Anthony Gary, Jernaya Tone Gaskins, Mackenzie Ariane Gray, 
Frederick Lorenzo Giles, Jeremiah Rochard Glenn, Richard Steven Gonzalez Mexicanos, Delvin Ermelindo Gonzalez Paz, Randy Jose Gonzalez Pelais, Jabbar Khalil Good, Leo Lorenzo Goodman, Dwayne Grady Gordon, Christopher Ivan Gray Sharp, Christopher Giovanni Guzman Alves, Jeremiah Demetrius Gray, Amy Gabriela Gutierrez Ruiz, Elijah Amin Harden, Brianna Janae Paris, Carlos De Mario Harris, Rochelle Harris, Zaire Ashe Harris, Isaiah Demon Haskin, Joanne Christopher Haskin, Rakees Willie Hatcher, Michaela Brianna Hayes, Adrian Hernandez, Gerard Geraldine Andrea Hernandez, Olvin Alexander Hernandez, Kelly Hernandez Castro, Sean Gregory, Joanna Patricia Hernandez Estrada, Milton Aldehir Hernandez Sierra, Cameron Harris, Jason Jose Hernandez Soriano, Nayeli Elizabeth Herrera, Shekina Lee Jaquel Heron, Maria Teresa Hidrogos Sandovia, Xavier Preston Hill, Jalen Christopher Hines, Darian Diana Holly, My Asia Denise Holman, Janaya Nadona Holmes, Amar Maison Hoover, Erin Alexandria Hunter, Nikaya Ariana Hunter, Amirha Nicole Ray, Tiana Irby, Emma Ray Jackson, Gabriela Nicole Jackson, Lillian Silviana Jackson, Tyshawn Lamont Jackson, Jamaria Shantice Jennings, Josue Joan Jimenez Rivas, Brianna Cathy Johnson, Barry Johnson, Uni Trequan Johnson, Kendrida Monique Johnson, Malachi Nashan Johnson, Onyx William Johnson, Quane Johnson, Brooklyn Nicole Jones, Stephanie Nicole Jones, Zaeja Denise Jordan, Ayana Jasmine Jose Peralta, Sadbir Kaur, Mackenzie Ciara Kent, Aaron Montrell Keys, Khadija Kazir, Benjamin Howard Knight, Jada Marie Knight, Cynthia Lamb, Kevin Lamb, Jeremiah Lane, Rancy Jose Laura Maugia, Jada Amanda Lee, Anthony Alexis Leon, Rodrigo Leon Viterbo, Cameron Jackson Luz, Mackenzie Jean Lipsky, Jeffrey Lopez Barahona, Glenda Elizabeth Lopez Hernandez, Oscar Abraham Lopez, Luis Felipe Lopez Orquilla, Brian Marcus Lozada, Luis Eduardo Luna Mejia, Jairo Rosales Morales, Tejan Kamoy Lynn, Lauren Nicole Lynch, Cecil Jason Mabry, Tayana Marie Macklin, Marie Shante Shanice Malone, Panisha Jamaya Mark, Leila Rosa Marrero, Cami Landis Morrow, Devani Nicole Martin, 
Edwin Jose Josue Martinez, Maria Jose Martinez Lemus, Karen Martinez Ortega, Eric Christopher Moyer, Alex David Mayorga Cordon, Christian David Mayorga Cordon, Demonte Shaheem McDaniel, Amari Zaire McElroy, Robert McKay III, Adriana Maleka McLennan, Marquise Jerron McSweeney, Anthony Quinn McMorris, Imer Obed Medina Garcia, Celeste Alexandra Mejia, Brian Alexander Mejia Ochoa, Jimmy Membreno Jr., John Richard Membreno, Mayra Judith Mendez Rodriguez, Alexandra Lisa Mendoza Ramos, Henry Antonio Menzivar, Kevon Miles, Brian Edward Miller, Alma Guadalupe Montalvo Marin, Monte Wynn Moore, Maya Nicole Moore, Gabriela Gisle Moreira, Dejin Axel Mosso, Ethan Gabriel Moye, Sean Michael Murphy, Gabriel Omega Murray, Justin Najera, Daniel Gerardo Navarro Rosales, Rachel Maria Navarro Rosales, Chris Ann Maria Nelson, Alicia Monet Newton, Wilson Nee, Brian Jesus Nieves Quinones, Raven Nicole Norman, Sylvia Del Carmen Nunez Castro, Latifa Olainka Okebenro, Samuel Hilario Olguin, Michael Josue Olivar, Anthony Miles, Andrew Gabriel Ordonez, Kevin Xavier Oriana Asensio, Andrew Marcus Ospina, Dejanet Oviedo Maldonado, Rosa Linda Palucho Gomez. Danvi Patel, Shabam Jigneshvi Patel, Alex Ramon Pelayo Landa Verdo, Minor Ezequiel Barcarel Perez, Perla Perez, Daisy Elizabeth Perez Salguero, Chrissy Nicole Perry. Jennifer Pineda Lopez, Brianna Jane Porter, Isaias Presas Reyes, Sydney Rene Privet, Alan Tere Carls, Flor Ramirez, Monica Lisbeth Ramirez Romero, Kevon Taquan Ray. Danasia Redmond, Edgar Alexander Reeves, Cameron Christian Reed, Rayshawn William Reed, Darius Ruben Richards, Jahad Sharif Richards, Danielle Rene Richardson, Lamarcus Deshawn Richardson, Takira Omane Ricks, Noe Antonio Rivera Marroquin, Amy Yadira Rivera Neri, Kayomi Sakura Roberts, Ranzel Imantre Robinson, Tamia Nicole Robinson, 
Andrea Valeria Rocha, Nelson Vladimir Rodas Guerrero, Edwin Javier Romero, Kayana Sanai Rookwood, Crystal Yanalise Rosa Serrano, Madison Marie Rosario, William Eric Rudd, Cayman Paris Ruffin, Elisa Sakina, Larissa Isela Salazar Arguello, Kennedy Rene Salter, Sharon Michelle Sanchez, Jennifer Sanchez Villanueva, Emily Elizabeth Santiago, Diego Armando Santiago Morente, Jaritza Santos Jaimes, Tai Eli Sao, Jamar Trayon Saunders, Jessica Grace Saunders, Talasia LaShawn Scoggins, Melanie Janine Segura Roman, Ariana Serrano Martinez, Brandon Joshua Sharp, Alicia Morgan Shepherd, Eli Skipper, Komaya Nicole Smith, Odell Smith, Sochil Karina Sochin Hernandez, Serai Noemi Soto Ortega, Ana Patricia Soto Velasquez, Lila Jalen Starks, Jave Divine Stiff, Karim Omar Stiff, Zaria Sade Studevant, Kailasia Stur Alexandria Sturdivant, Martin Taperia Cabellos, Kaya Kayana Alicia Tarver, Jawan Larnell Taylor, Savannah Leon Taylor, Trinity Billy Simone Taylor, Jocelyn Tejeda, Brandon Isaiah Telfar, Bria Marie Telfar, Kira Monet Thomas, Alia Deja Thompson, Kayla Maria Elizabeth Thompson, Malaysia Marley Thomas, Elmer Alexander Torres, Leslie Anahi Torres Acosta, Eric Roscoe Towns, Carla Judith Torcios, Naldi Fajardo Torcios, Jonathan Alexander Orias, Michael Vladimir Orquiz, Ashley Isabel Uisele Monteflores, Kennedy Hernandez, Kenny Hernandez Valdez, Stephanie Carolina Vargas, Sitlali G. Vargas Mereles, Angie Vasquez de Leon, Christopher Velasquez, Alexander Lagan Vest, Angelina Lucinda Villagomez, Ana Gabriela Villanueva Bonilla, Alex Vincent, Buntai Vong, Alia Shadaje Walker, Ivania Donne Ward, Shanice Nayoka Warner, Shatice Leanne Warren, Karen Edward Washington, Robert Joseph Washington, Sanders Oliver Watkins, Tylev Vashon West, Kalijah Terrell Wilkerson, Angelina Clorinda Williams,
Christina Nicole Williams, Elijah Tyree Williams, Kennedy Ray Williams, Michael Lavon Williams, Prince Karim Laroque Wofford, Sanis Artira Woodson, Damani Elisa Wright, Laquan Quincy White, Alhami Elijah Yearwood, Colandria Amira Young, Rolando Zelaya, Class of 2022, please rise for the certification of graduates. The Honorable Mr. Holland, Mrs. Bailey, Dr. Doherty, and platform guests. Under the authority vested in the school board of Chesterfield County, I hereby certify that the members of this graduating class have fulfilled the requirements for graduation. I now declare the class of 2022 graduates of Meadowbrook High School with all rights and privileges. Graduates, please turn your tassels from the right to the left to signify transition from candidate to graduate. Audience members, please stand and, refrain, and remain standing for the recessional. The faculty will lead the graduates off the floor in the recessional. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2022. Felicidades y buena suerte a la clase de 2022.